Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to make this type of Instagram page wall effect in Photoshop, so let's get started. All the images I will be using in this video are linked in the description, go ahead and download to follow along. So this is the canvas we will be working on, it's 1920 by 1080 pixels. So first, drag and drop your subject layer onto the background. Now as you can see, it is leaving out these corners, so simply select your rectangular marquee tool. And first let's just name this layer, subject. So make sure your subject layer is selected, and then just make a selection of some part of the wall. Now press Ctrl plus J, and press Ctrl plus T, and simply move this to the left. Now hold the control key and select all these three layers by clicking on them, then right click and merge them. Now it is all in one layer. Now I'll simply get rid of this logo, it is just a little distracting. So make sure your subject layer is selected. Now select the lasso tool and make a rough selection of some part of this shirt. Now press Ctrl plus J and press Ctrl plus T and simply place it above the logo. I'm gonna make another copy of this to cover the entire logo. Now as you can see the edges are looking a little sharp, so I'm just gonna add a layer mask. And with black, as a foreground color, I'm simply gonna paint on the edges with a soft round brush. And I'm gonna do this process for both of these two layers. and because it is a black color, so it's quite hard to see, so I'm just gonna increase some exposure. Once you're done then just delete the exposure layer. And I'm also gonna get rid of these strings. So add a new layer. And sample the color from his pants and simply paint over the string. And with this one, I'm gonna use a clone stamp tool. So select your subject layer. Hold Alt and click to take a sample. And simply paint over.
Now drag and drop the screenshot of your Instagram page. I don't use Instagram, so I took this picture from the Google. I'm simply gonna name this layer. And put this layer on the second number. Now select your subject layer, and I'm gonna hide this screenshot layer momentarily. Now you just have to select the subject, and for that, I'm gonna use the Select Subject button. Now press Ctrl plus J. Now hold the Shift key. And click on this layer, and it will select all those three layers, and simply merge these. Now you can turn on the screenshot layer, and put this layer over the screenshot. Now select your image one layer, and press Ctrl plus T. And place it wherever you want. and change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Now I'm gonna drag and drop the second image and repeat the same process with that as well. Now I'm gonna add a layer mask to the image one, just to soften the edges, so it will blend a little more. And same for the image two. Now hold the control, click on the other layer to select both layer, and simply adjust. Now if you notice, these areas are a little darker, and these a little lighter. So select the subject layer, and add a curves adjustment layer over it, and simply make it a little darker. Now select the mask and press Ctrl plus I. And with white, as a foreground color, simply paint. And there you go. So that was the end of today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, then make sure to subscribe to my channel, and like this video.